I'm Dave Palumbo, founder of Species Nutrition. From my earliest bodybuilding days, I believed in only putting the best in my body. And that lives on in the Species Nutrition line of products. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. Dave Palumbo with another RX Muscle rant. Today's topic is supplements that sabotage weight loss. I have a couple of clients uh, who come to me, you know, sometimes the last couple of weeks before a show, or people who I know, you know, are having trouble getting in shape. They contact me and say, Dave, you know, can you help peak me these last three or four weeks? I don't know what happened. I just can't lose any more weight. I don't know. I can't take any more food out. I'm doing a ton of cardio. I'm taking fat burners. And I sit down and I analyze their diets and their programs. And this is something I do on a regular basis. And you know, as I've been doing this longer and longer, I become better and better at it. And I become like Sherlock Holmes, basically. You have to find the pitfalls and the mistakes people make. You know, some people eat, they chew gum, they chew, chew sugar-free gum all day, they, they get extra carbs in there. Because even sugar-free gum has two grams of carbs. These are little pitfalls. Sometimes they use the wrong condiments that have sugars in them or hidden carbs in them. But one of the, the things that a lot of people don't take into consideration is all the powders, the supplemental powders we use. And when I say powders, I'm not talking about protein powders, because usually when people don't do a protein powder, it's part of a meal or, a meal, or at least a shake that you're doing as part, part of a feeding during the day. I'm talking about the extra branch chain amino acids, essential amino acids, glutamine, okay, powder, uh, pre-workouts, People are constantly drinking, 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 drinking these powdered things. I had one you know, guy who contacted me, great bodybuilder. I've worked with him in the past. I'm, now I'm helping him again. But he was taking in so much glutamine okay, and so much branch chains and essential amino acids. It's no wonder he wasn't burning fat. His body was using that as a fuel source. Glutamine is one of those amino acids that gets very readily converted in the liver and the kidneys into glucose. Okay, so it, you know, it turns, you know, it's gluconeogenesis. It tur the, the, these organs turn the glutamine into glucose, and when glucose enters the bloodstream, obviously you gotta release insulin to absorb that. So that can sabotage weight loss because your body can use the, 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 the new glucose as fuel, and obviously too much insulin present is not gonna put you in a fat burning state. So big, big mistake to be taking glutamine all day long. In fact, most of the glutamine that you consume orally, okay, gets stolen up by the intestinal cells anyway, uh, used for regeneration of the intestinal lining and stuff like that and for fuel. But the problem is the stuff that does get into the bloodstream, it never really makes it to the muscle cells to be used for anything important because glutamine is not even an essential amino acid. Your body can make its own glutamine inside the muscle cell. So most of it gets converted to other stuff. Uh, in the tissues of your body, a lot of it gets converted to carbon dioxide, actually. But in the liver and the kidneys, it can convert to glucose, something you don't want happening while you're dieting, okay? Especially if you're trying to limit carbon intake. Branch chain amino acids, okay? Essential amino acids can be used for fuel. I know people, they do cardio, and while they're doing cardio, they're drinking amino acids. That's a fuel source, okay? Your body can convert those into glucose and use them for fuel. So you, when you're trying to burn and mobilize fat that's in a stored situation in your fat cells, you certainly don't want to be taking in, in, in anything that your body can use as fuel because it's a lot easier for your body to use that rather than the stored body fat. You want your body to think it's starving, it's got to go into the, into the stores okay, and, and, and pull it out of, of the stored body fat and mobilize that, that, that uh, uh, stored body fat to use as fuel. That's the whole purpose of doing cardio. That's the purpose of going on a lower, you know, carbohydrate, lower calorie diet. It's to force your body to get into the stores and get that fat out so that we can see the muscle definition. Uh, big, big mistake people make. Pre-workouts, they all claim to be, you know, zero calorie, carb free. You could put amino acids into a pre-workout and still call it calorie free. Um, because they don't really put, I don't know why they don't do this, to be honest with you. Um, on, on my amino acid product, I actually put calories, but a lot of them, they, they put zero, you know, and that's not true because if you're taking in six grams of amino acids, that's six grams of protein, essentially, you're taking in. So that's a fuel source. Listen to me. If you're having trouble losing weight and, and this scenario is ringing a bell that sounds all too familiar to you, meaning that 
you know what? You're taking a lot of amino acids during the day in powder form or pill form. You take glutamine throughout the day. You do, you know, pre-workouts, you know, multiple times a day. Try cutting them all out. Just take all those powders out. I, first of all, I guarantee you, your physique will not, you will not lose one iota of muscle, okay? And if you think you're gaining muscle while you're dieting, you're also diluting yourself as well. You can't gain and, and lose fat at the same time. It doesn't happen. Every once in a while, we gain a few pounds here and there from, for whatever reason or another. But you, your goal to, when you're dieting for a competition or to lose body fat is to maximize fat loss. It's not worrying about gaining muscle. It's, it's maintaining muscle, losing body fat. Take those powders out. See what happens to your body. I promise you, your weight will come down. I see it a lot in my Indian athletes. I help a lot of people from India and, and, that, and Pakistan and that part of the world. And, uh, and they're really big into their powders there. They're, they think, you know, that, they're into like that like we were in the uh, late 90s, early, the, you know, late 90s. They're really into the creatines and the glutamines and the amino acid powders. They think that they're like, you know, almost like anabolic steroids, you know. <laughs> and so they take them all day long. And maybe because it's cheaper over there, I don't know. And that's a cheaper supplement. It's not something you want to be doing all day long if you're trying to burn fat maximally. Especially when you get down to the last little bit where, you, where you're looking really good, but you, you got to get rid of that last bit to get the striated glutes, to get your lower lats to kind of feather out. You're not going to lose it. Your body's going to hold on to that fat if you're giving it something to use as fuel. Okay? Take those powders out. If you're eating six times a day as a man or five times a day as a woman, that's plenty of food. You don't need more. You might want more. You might be hungry, but that's what happens the last three to four weeks before a competition. You're going to be hungry. Okay? When your body fat is low, your body's going to say, feed me more. And the people who say no and put their fist down, those are the people who, who look great on stage. The people who give in and they're like, oh, I'll drink a few amino acids here, I'll take some glutamine. Those are the people who never quite get to where they needed to be. They kind of just fall short. And you don't want to be one of those guys that fall short, or girls. You want to be the person who looks their absolute best on stage, which means you're going to have to suffer. There's no free meals, there's no free supplements. Remember that. It's a very common pitfall. And if you guys want to avoid making mistakes, especially when you're putting all this time, effort, and money into your contest prep, and it's, it's so important to you, don't get caught up in the powder game. I'm Dave Palumbo with another RX Muscle rant.